gonna do a video on how to change the tire on your zero turn mower. Here's what you're gonna need to do it. Um, you're gonna need a bottle jack. This is gonna be useful to break the bead on the rim so that the tire will pop off the rim. I use a electric drill driver with this bottle jack because I can turn it real rapidly uh, with that fitting there. You're gonna need some tire spoons. This will make your job a lot easier. These are not expensive. They come in a set of three because it seems like as you're using them, you quickly need another one. You're gonna need a new valve. If you're putting on a new tire, put on a new valve. I'm putting on a stubby one because it will not stick out as far and get hit by rocks when I'm mowing. You're gonna need some vice grips. This is gonna be helpful to mount the tire, the new one, back on the rim. And then you're gonna need a knife and some uh, grabber here, some pair of pliers, so you can cut off the old valve and tear it out. As well, some Dawn soap in a bucket so you can make a water solution, maybe a brush, uh, to brush on to the tire to make it lubed up and make that easier to mount the tire onto the rim. It's hard if you don't have it that way. So let's go ahead and get this rim uh, tire off the old mower and get this new one installed. Now to break the bead on this tire, I'm going to use this small bottle jack and the weight of my truck as a downward force to push down on the tire. So I'm using the, the hitch, the top of this, and the wheel. So that'll help keep this straight. So lean your bottle jack against your hitch so you can push straight downward. It, it'll tend to lean less than it might normally. Now here's why I don't use slime in my tires anymore. This old mower has had slime in it for probably five years and it just stops working after a while and it just turns into mud and it sticks up on the rim, which can cause it to rust out. I'm using a new product. It's called Flat Out. It has a, a much longer lifespan than slime and, and other additives you can put in your tires. It's got Kevlar and it really works a lot better. So. In my UTV and in my other equipment, I've been using that and I highly recommend that instead. Now I'm gonna go with the smallest valve stem that they make. Uh, at least in the kit that I have. Because when it's sticking out here, sometimes I've hit rocks and it's busted the valve stem and it popped out and flattened my tire. So I'm just trying to go with the most low profile one that I can still get the air on there because these tires don't stick out very much. So go with the small one.
Now we're gonna put the rim on the tire. You're gonna to need to make some lube. I use just Dawn soap, just squirt a bunch in there. Don't be shy with it. Get some kind of rag or brush or something like this. Now something to notice here, this rim has got a thick side here and a small side here. You want to put the small side in first because this extra space here in the hole is what gives you the ability to, to easily pop that in. If you're trying to fight across this whole extra two inches, it makes it a lot more difficult. So you're going to want to put this one first because you don't have but the small lip to hop over. Then you're into the well of the rim here, and that's going to make your job a lot easier for getting it initially on the rim. There you go got fresh tire on there everything's looking good hey i hope the video was helpful hope this information was useful to you and as always hope you have a great day